Hello, I trust that you're doing well. Welcome to Miss Fountain channel, your go-to destination for insightful and engaging educational content. Here, we explore a wide range of topics from science and history to technology and beyond. Prepare to expand your knowledge and spark your curiosity with our carefully crafted videos. Subscribe now and join us on our journey of discovery. In today's session, we're going to look at animal and human hair differentiation. Um, in a previous video, we, exp we introduced forensic hair analysis where we looked at the morphology of hair. The link to that video is in the description box. If you've not watched that video, kindly watch it so that we can be together in this because we are going to be referring to it from now. We find that human and animal hair have some differences. And the first one is the medullary index. Medullary index is gotten by dividing the diameter of the medulla, the diameter of the hair. And medulla is the innermost layer. That is in the, in the hair shaft. We find that animals have a medulla index or a medullary index that is uh, more, it's more than a half, that is greater than a half. That is when you divide the diameter of the medulla, the diameter of the hair of, in the case of an animal, the answer is going to be greater than a half. The medullary index of human hair is uh, less than a third. When you divide the diameter of the medulla with the diameter of the of a human hair, it's going to give you a value that is less than a third. That's the difference between animal hair and human hair based on uh, the medullary index. Another difference is a uh, pigmentation. Find that human, for human standard, while well, uh, animals have shafts with uh, different different colors. For humans, if the hair is uh, black, it's going to be black like throughout that strand. For animals, you're going to find the, the shafts with different colors. Another difference between animal and human hair is a uh, spread of pigmentation. In humans, granules are deeper towards the, towards the cuticle. And in uh, in animals, they are deeper towards the medulla. Medulla is the innermost layer, and cuticle is the outer layer. So for humans, it's deeper. It or it's denser towards the cuticle. For animals, it's denser towards the medulla. Another way through which you can differentiate animal and human hair is that animals have more pronounced ovoid bodies than humans. Animals have pro more pronounced ovoid bodies than humans. And another difference, another way through which you can differentiate them is through the cuticle pattern. We find that animals have spinous, coronal, and implicates. Well, uh, human. Then you have implicates. For this, uh, for this cuticle pattern, we have a. Uh, they are well illustrated in the. In the video that is explaining hair morphology. So, kindly refer to that video so that you can see the differences in the cuticle patterns. Yeah, those are the various ways through which you can differentiate animal hair from human hair. That is medullary index, pigmentation, spread of pigmentation, 